Looking to make your own curtain panels with grommets at the top? It's easy. This tutorial will show you how. First, you need to decide how big to make your panels. I'm going to do a panel with a finished measurement of 45 inches in width and 84 inches in length. Whatever your finished width is, add one and a half inches and then add six and a half inches to your finished length. So I will cut out a panel that's 46 and a half inches in width by 90 and a half inches in length. Finish the two longest sides with a small hem by folding 3 8 of an inch twice to the wrong side, pin and press. Sew this at your sewing machine using a standard straight stitch. Again, this is done on both of the longer sides. At the bottom of the panel, you'll do a hem by folding 2 inches to the wrong side and then tucking the top raw edge under by a quarter inch. Pin and press this before sewing it in place at your machine. Last, we'll do the top hem. This will be bigger because it needs to fit the size of our grommets. My grommets are 1 and 9 sixteenths of an inch and it states the top header should be at least 4 inches in width. If you get a different size, check your packaging. To create the top header, fold to the wrong side 4 and a half inches and then tuck under a quarter inch. Pin and press before stitching at your sewing machine. With all sides of our panel finished, we can now add the grommets, but first we need to mark the panel for placement. Take the number of grommets you want to use, this should be an even number, and divide the finished width by this. Minus 45 divided by 6 to give me 7 and a half inches for the grommet spacing measurement. To place the first grommet, take your grommet spacing measurement and divide in half, giving me 3 and 3 quarter inches. This marks the center of the first grommet. Also make another mark over the first one, 1 and 5 eighths of an inch from the top of the panel. Inside your grommet packaging, you should have a small plastic template like this. Place your template so the crosshairs inside the circle match with your marks and draw in the slots with the fabric marker to create a circle. From the center of your first grommet placement, measure seven and a half inches for another mark or whatever your spacing measurement is and add the one and five eighths inch mark from the top of the panel again. Use the template to mark the placement of grommet number two. Repeat for the remaining grommets having the centers equal to your grommet spacing measurement. Mine is again seven and a half inches. Next, cut out your drawn circles. Pair up your grommets. They're made of two sections. One has ridges and the other one has prongs. Going from the right side of the panel to the wrong side, place the grommet with the ridges so that the center of the grommet goes through a hole. Take the opposite grommet and put it over the first grommet, prong side down, and press them together until they click securely. Repeat this for all your other grommet circles. And just like that, you have a finished panel that's ready to go on a curtain rod. If you want more than one panel, you just need to repeat the process. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.